Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React and the Node.js. Today we are going to learn PayPal payment integration in React and the Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, we are going to add the code of the React. So let me open any of my React project. So here we go with the React. React tutorial and any of my project that is my app might be source okay let's open this project open with terminal code base code i need to open <laughs> here we go with the app.js whatever content in the previous file let me comment this okay let's add our code app.js file So this is the PayPal button that I'm going to add over here. So this is our PayPal, right? We will create a Node.js code. So let me go and just create a Node.js code over here. So I will, I will go to make directory with Node.js. Node.js and uh, CD Node.js. Okay, then uh, npm init hyphen y. Okay, let's open this code base. Okay, let's create app.js file. Let's add the code which I have already below. So let's copy this code over here. Okay, <coughs> so let's paste this. Let's add the necessary packages that is express. So let's go and add the npm i express. Then we require body parser. Then we require the package that is PayPal checkout SDK. And then we require Required another package name is course and express is already added. Let's go and add it. Course. So this is done. Then we run node app.js file. So it's running on 4000 port. Let's run this also. npm run start. This is also started. Cannot find the module this one, so I need to install this module. Let's go and add this module over here. So let's go and check this. So they have some of the issues with installing this module. So then let's add this one with that one. Okay, then start npm and start. Okay, so let's start this. And here we go with the PayPal button. Okay. So let's do the payment and check each and everything. So let me log in with the PayPal also. So I think it's logged in or not. I think it's logged in. Get a pay credentials. No, it's not logged in. So let me log in with my original profile. Okay, so it's logged in now. We have to check the transactions also, right? So let's go and update this. Let's go to the PayPal. So here I need to log in. So let me go to my credentials where we have the credentials sandbox accounts. So any of the personal account I can need to use. This is that one. So let's add this over here. Their password, let's log in. Uh, $5 for my PayPal balance, complete the purchase. And here you can see that 
this window let's make it okay and let's check the console here you can see that the object ID everything payment is there error in the capture payment what the issue in that server is getting something issue no it says that completing let's check the um, let's go and check the accounts so here we have the business accounts so let me go and view and edit so let me log in with my business account over here so let's go sandbox so I think this is the login let's check the activity so here we go with two three payments so let's see and check the five dollar payment over here so here you can see that five dollar payment three three one payment by John Doe let's check the every ID payment ID and all so here we have the transaction ID like this so let's confirm the transaction ID with this console the order ID the payment ID and here we go with the payment source let's check this one order ID payment source we have the transaction ID or the payment ID is there let's confirm we have this this much they don't have the payment ID confirmed let's go to the back they have the transaction ID I think with the payment ID I think we can retrieve the transaction ID might be okay but here you can see that the payment is done now five dollar USD right so this is there that uh, in the in the coming sections we will check that the on um, behalf of transaction id or order id we will retrieve the transaction id with the checkout api of that one okay so this payment is done let's dive into the code level how it could be done okay so first one that is node.js code so we required express body parser checkout server sdk codes for the integration of that one in the react okay so here we require the client id and the client secret you need to get it from here when you have the sandbox accounts let's go to the apps and credentials so here you will get get the client ID and the client secret copy and paste this right next you will go to capture the payment here we require the order ID and the pair ID okay in the request body so you need to send it from the react so PayPal orders orders capture request with order ID okay and the pair ID so here await client dot execute the request and here you can see that the payment captured and response sent 200 that payment captured successfully okay so this is done and port is and the server is listening on which port so you have to mention that port over here okay so this is the node.js part let's go to the react code part over here so let me go and check this okay so here we have the paypal so you require you need to add this npm package right so here we have by default two state we have a state that is u state and by default it's null okay so here we are going to create an order which required the purchase units that is five dollar current us usd and whenever there is an order so we will check that the order id and everything so we need to set that in the order this state set order id we have to set that order id into the state okay after that on approve Okay, when there is a own approve over here so whenever we have a paypal script provider options that we have a client id and the paypal buttons create order and on approve so when i click on the when automatically go with the own approve so we have to call the api and capture that payment okay so here we require the order id and the pair id in the body okay after doing that it will capture the payment if the response is okay then we will if the response is not okay then alert that the payment capture failed and if it is okay then the then here we can handle the that the payment has been done okay so this is how you are able to do that part 
any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day